Hey friends, welcome to Load of Crock. So in a blink of an eye, fall is here. And for me, this means a very important thing. It's football season. And with football season comes another very important item. And actually, as I'm talking out loud here, I think it means three, three very important items. One, large flat screen TVs. Two, beer, obviously. And three, food, specifically appetizers. So for this edition of Load of Crock, I'm going to share with you a very easy but very good crock pot appetizer that is going to be perfect for any of your tailgating or football gatherings or generally just to be eaten in the fall. So as I tend to do in these episodes, I'm going to age myself just a little bit by altering a catchphrase from the 90s Monday Night Football. Are you ready for some buffalo chicken dip? Let's do this. Okay, so although many people have told me my singing voice is um, magical, in case it wasn't clear, we are making buffalo chicken dip in the crock pot. And I love this recipe for three main reasons. The first, minimal ingredients. Chicken, buffalo sauce, ranch dressing, shredded cheddar cheese, and cream cheese. Two, there are options for cooking the chicken. If you're in a hurry and need to do it quickly, you can cook the chicken in the oven for about 35 minutes, shred it all up, throw it into the crock pot, add the other four ingredients, mix it up, and then put it on low for about 45 minutes. Or you can do the chicken in the crock pot on low for about two hours, then shred it up in the crock pot, add the other four ingredients, and then go low for another 45 minutes. And, um, you know, for those that have watched other episodes, you know I'm not a big fan of dishes, so option two does allow for one less dish to wash. Just a pro. And then three, it tastes so good. I mean, I, I cannot properly express how good it was. I mean, I knew it was gonna be good, but it's like spicy, but not too spicy. I piled it up on this baguette, this bread, like crunchy bread, and it was so good. It was like one of the best days of my life. No offense to my friends and family, of course. I kid, I joke, but it was a really good day. It was so good. And that reminds me, I'm counting on the fly apparently today in this episode, because there's a fourth thing I love about this, and that is, what you can choose to be the dip for your dip. So it can be bread, it can be carrots, it can be celery. Those are the three things I use. Anything else cool that you can come up with, they're all super good. I mean, I'd be lying if I didn't say the bread was so good because I can't shut up about it, but they were all equally good. So watch while we put this together and trust me, this recipe is going to be a total touchdown. See what I did there? It's like football touchdown. Start by spraying your crock pot. Add the chicken breasts that have been seasoned with salt and pepper. And then add a half a cup of chicken broth, cooking on low for two hours. When the chicken is done, shred it up and then add a half a cup of buffalo wing sauce, a half a cup of ranch dressing, a half a cup of shredded Colby Jack or cheddar cheese, and finally add your eight ounces of softened cream cheese. Mix it all up as best you can with that cream cheese, and then you'll put it on low for 45 minutes to an hour, stirring it a couple times if you're able. All right, so as you saw and probably were not surprised by, I did the chicken in the crock pot, one less dish to wash, and as I shared, if you do uh, the chicken that way, you'll wanna put in about a half a cup of chicken broth just to make sure that the chicken doesn't get too dry, but whether the oven or the crock pot, um, I promise this recipe is fantastic. And I don't know if you're gonna be eating this at a tailgating party, maybe making it to eat in front of your large flat screen TV, maybe it's just a nice fall gathering that has zero to do with football, or, you have a full baguette of bread. You wanna spread that buffalo chicken dip on and just eat it all. Not that I know anything about that, but if you're interested in best practices on that approach, please let me know. 
I hope regardless, you love this recipe. And let's be honest, even if you only love it half as much as I do, I'm going to consider that a total success. Thanks to all of you that are subscribed to my Load of Crock channel and who are watching this Load of Crock channel. I really appreciate everybody's continued interest and support. If you haven't subscribed, I would absolutely love for you to do so. All you have to do is click on the red subscribe button and then make sure to sign up for alerts as well because that way then you'll be notified every time we post a new video with a new recipe for you to try and enjoy. So now, whether you're of the 1990s Hank Williams Jr. Monday Night Football era, or maybe you're more of the Sunday Night with Faith Hill era, or maybe even the Sunday Night now with Carrie Underwood era, or maybe you could not care less about the sport of football, I want you to check out this buffalo chicken Wait, sorry, one other thing. I'm so sorry, I keep forgetting things this episode. Go hot.